Hi and welcome to the second session. This revision lesson is on the definitions of abnormality as a whole subtopic and this session will continue with the revision theme but we'll target those AO2 skills that we need in our exam. So for each of the four examples on the screen, consider carefully and decide which definition of abnormality they relate to. Choose what they relate to best and pause the video for five minutes while you read through them carefully, put your answers down and chat with someone else if possible. Hopefully you managed to pick one for each scenario. So first of all we had Arthur and this was about deviation from social norms since every time he goes to the supermarket he's doing something that deviates from what most other people would consider to be acceptable. Aaron and David taking a mood survey online. Aaron scores 75, David scores 120. And this is about statistical infrequency, since we're indicating here that we're taking a mathematical approach and David is scoring well above the average. Sunitra has been struggling with anxiety since a family bereavement and she's not been able to return to work. She's not seeing her friends. She's dishevelled in her appearance. So this is indicating towards failing to function adequately. And then Heather has regular meetings with her school careers advisor, but she doesn't really know what she wants to do in the future and doesn't really care. So this is hinting at self-actualization issues. So therefore we're in the realms of deviation from ideal mental health. Let's try that again. So this time we've got Anna as our case. Read the case below and decide which definition of abnormalities could be used to explain each of the behaviours that were told about, about Anna. So pause the video for five minutes, read each one carefully and jot your answers down. Hopefully you got some answers down. So Anna thinks that her television is sending messages to her through soap characters. So this is deviation from ideal mental health because it's not likely that Anna's got an accurate perception of reality. She becomes really overwhelmed, stressed whenever her phone rings. Again, ideal mental health because she's not resisting stress. She keeps every single pair of socks she's owned since she was five, which is a deviation from social norms. She hates the way her reflection looks in the mirror. And this would be a deviation from ideal mental health because this doesn't show a positive self-attitude. Failure to function adequately would be the answer to the next one because she experiences anxiety when she leaves the house, so she doesn't, and obviously this is going to have an impact on the everyday tasks. She has an IQ score of 130, which puts her well above the average, and we can explain that with statistical infrequency, so she'd be rare. She picks her nose whilst doing a live video on social media, which would deviate from social norms. And she's one of a very small number of people who can play every single instrument. So again, indicating that she is statistically infrequent. All right, so let's carry on putting these AO2 skills to the test then. So there's an exam style question on the screen, which is quite typical of an AO2 application question. So read it carefully and produce an answer yourself. Now for questions like this, there's quite a bit to read. So you might want to read it a couple of times or get your highlighters out or underline key parts that might be significant. And then also don't forget to decode the question. So pause the video for 10 minutes while you give this some really thorough attention and jot your answer down. So as always, it should be normal practice that you've gone through the scenario and the question and done some decoding and some highlighting of significant information. So you can see on the screen that we've highlighted some of the key things that you might talk about about the uh, newspaper article. And then we've also highlighted some of the things that stand out in the question. So we've got to outline three definitions. So we, we know we've got to do some AO1 work and we know that we've got to do three, no less, no more. But we've also got a second job to do and that's to refer to the newspaper. And that means that all that together, done accurately in detail, should be enough to earn us six marks. So the suggested answer is on the screen. Now you can pause the video here to have a closer look or compare your answer. And the structure of these answers is quite a typical structure for an AO2 question. So you can see in each paragraph, we've got the explanation of a definition, and then we've taken a part of the scenario and we've made the link. 
So pause the video for a few minutes if you want to have a more detailed look at this. 